What is up guys, it's your boy Kiss with a brand new video right here on the Lego Harry Potter Right here we're playing the first level We're just seeing this little intro to the game Yeah, nothing much I can say to this so uh, I'll let you guys watch this And here we are in the first mission. As you can see, I'm playing Harry Potter. I'm waiting for my sister to join me and play as Hagrid, because we were going we were going to do this um, series by uh, the two of us. And so as you can see, we we're just breaking everything, getting the coins, as we're supposed to do, because it's already one of the missions. So we want to try and get already um, the I think it's called a true wizard. But yeah, we're always getting, trying to get that. So we're trying to break everything while I'm also trying to continue with the storyline right like getting the peach for the door and all that stuff but Harry Potter is pretty much useless so I'm just literally walking around breaking the things that I can break with all of the rest it's just for Hagrid because Hagrid is the only one that can basically do any type of magic with his umbrella I think it is what he has in his hand but yeah so I'm just waiting for her to do all the stuff get some money and yeah I'm just trying to find some things to break as you can, can see I know that the split screen maybe is not the greatest thing to watch I'm sorry for that but we wanted to play this together so here we are doing that together but yeah the only sacrifice the only sacrifice I have to give for that is that it's gonna be a split screen right but as you guys can see I'm just trying to steal all the money of her she's trying to do all these things but yeah I'm just trying to get all the money, just walking around really, because Harry Potter, as I said, is pretty much useless in this mission, and I can basically not do anything besides just jump around and, yeah, just look for random things, honestly. So yeah, that's really all that I did in this round. Um, besides that, I'm telling her to open that door finally, because I think there was nothing anymore, so I tell her to open the door, but instead of opening the door, she tries to make that wizard fly. I don't know why she did that, but whatever. Um, yeah, no, she's going to open this door. She, oh, she, no, she finds some more money to get. So I'm stealing once again all the money. I'm trying to build all that stuff, but I can't. So I'm just jumping around again while she builds it up. And we actually get already one piece. We get the piece of Gryffindor. Every piece that you can get, every uh, the amount of money you need for the true wizard and all of that stuff, I will put that in the description to let you know what you guys have to do. But yeah, so here she's trying to make that thing go up while she's actually making that woman go up the whole time. 
but here I am trying to jump on, but I'm literally stuck on fucking air for some reason. And then I grab the Gryffindor piece. And that's really all, so we enter the door and we go to, into the next round, where we basically go and have to fix the wall where we are going to um, the vault for Harry Potter, right? So, of course, once again, Hagrid or my sister is basically fixing the wall so we can continue. And here we are, once again, we're going to just break, once again, everything, every single thing that we find that is breakable. I'm breaking it. I'm getting the coins here. I think I'm going to try and use this while I think this is actually no, no, like this is not supposed to happen. I think you should, like, you should be one of Griffin, uh, Slytherin to be getting that piece, but whatever. I get it anyway, so I'm grabbing it. So there, there you go, there's another piece of the flag, that Slytherin piece, and here I am once again just walking around looking for money. This, I don't know why the fuck I even grabbed that thing, I, yeah, I just threw it away because I'm like, what the fuck am I doing with that? Here I'm, yeah, I once again have no explanation on what I'm doing here, I'm just using the brushes, walking around, doing the most random shit ever, while my sister is just breaking everything and making a lot of money again. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm, as I said, Harry Potter in this round is the most useless character you will have ever found in any, um, in any level of Harry Potter, because, yeah, you literally do nothing but roll and sit on this thing, right? So, once again, trying to steal all the money, kind of, while well, she's doing all the money stuff. I know we may not always go continuing the, the storyline quickly, but that's because we are trying to get, um, all the coins as much as possible so we can tried to get as, as many true wizards before even going into free play and here we actually save the, the um, student in peril who I don't know why we have to build a table build it up I have to go up I don't know if you have to go up I did at least go up but still he, end, he ends up jumping down like here my sister thinks that there's something up there I just go but there's really nothing so that was really pointless for me to go up there anyway so once again, starting to break things, getting some more money. She's break, she's creating this jumper thingy, whatever it's called, and I use it to jump up this, obviously this um, roof to get the purple coin because th these purple coins are very amazing. And yeah, we found out that we have done everything. So now we have to give all these objects into the pot to make it explode. So we're doing that. Here she has to get the ice cream, but there was nothing else to do, so we're just waiting for that to happen. And yeah, once we're done with that, the thing explodes. I find out that you can probably get a piece for cleaning up that green stuff. So I'm actually going back to get that to those two brushes, and we're going to clean up that green uh, smug, whatever it is. We're going to clean it up. But, because basically you get, I think if I'm not mistaken, you get the Ravenclaw flag if um if you do that so yeah we're going to clean it up real quick um yeah as you guys can see i'm already cleaning it up real quick and there you go you get another piece it's not actually slytherin it's a hufflepuff i think it's called but yeah that's basically all you can do here so now i need to wait i can see that there's something else to break still so i'm getting a little bit more coins we're already at like around thirty thousand, which is pretty good but yeah there we go we go in and we go to the third part of the um, level so right here we are gonna spend a lot of time basically once again getting a lot of money because once again there's not really much to do she is basically the only one I basically can do anything here because here it's all magic stuff it's all like I don't know even how, how the fuck I did like I don't know if you watched the Harry Potter side of this but I don't know even now how I don't even know how I made that candle fly twice now I don't know what I hit, but yeah, I'm just once again looking around to find some some pieces that like I can break with just rolling against them while she's fixing all the all the lamps, which is also something you have to do to get something. I don't remember exactly what, but we'll see that. I'm just voiceovering this while I'm watching this with you guys, so yeah, but yeah, you have to find all eight of them. They're just all on the sides. So there's a four on these two tables and then four on the other tables. Well, I'm just once again walking around just basically being useless because once again, I am not a wizard anymore. Or, well, not yet, at least. So yeah, I'm just waiting for her to get all the money as soon as possible and continue this level, really. 
So, she needs to do like two more lamps right on the side. I bet she's doing some other stuff, making some books fly. I don't know what they do, but whatever. There we go. There's a, there's a seventh out of eight. She needs one more. And there we go. We get basically just a purple stud, which is pretty useless in my opinion. I mean, sure, it's pretty good. it's pretty nice to have, but I, mean, I was expecting something else. I was expecting like a character token here or something, right? Because we need like three of them. But yeah, so we continue some more with the money. And then once I think we're done with that, I think we are gonna go and make myself go up this roof, I think. She's gonna build all that stuff up so I can go up on the, on the table and I can go up that... Um, up that roof basically um yeah not really much i'm doing there i just grabbed the coins grab that blue coin that's in the air that i couldn't catch for earlier and now we're i think we're gonna continue the um storyline by waving at the dwarf i think that's what we're gonna do yeah that's, yeah that's that's definitely what we're gonna do we're just wasting time by walking all the way back for no reason nice anyway i waved to the dwarf and we actually get to be able to play him here's a little short um story line video about it All right, now we're back playing with actually the dwarf that has the key, the key to open a lot of stuff. We're gonna need this guy for free play a lot, so we're gonna have to find him pretty early on when we're going to start the free play stuff. But yeah, basically he is very use useless, just like Harry Potter. Just the only thing he has more than Harry Potter is that he actually has basically a key that can open stuff, right? Here I chose to drive over Hagrid by using this um, car thingy that I built or found. Either way, I'm just walking around getting some more money while I'm just waiting. Basically, we're wasting a lot of time here because basically there's nothing here to do because we already cleaned up all of the mission stuff. I mean, but it, it doesn't really seem like I did much more than the dwarf already was doing because he was drawing something while at work. I don't know even what that drawing was. Pretty nice though. L literally looked like a like a little kid drawing but uh, whatever so here we just basically have to open up that um that oh there we go we have the true wizard i think it's about seventy thousand for the first true wizard i'll be putting that uh, like exact amount down in the description as well but yeah here we are opening up the um vault and then i have to well hagrid has to build up the um poster on the wall i guess you could say that will allow us to go inside of um, the vaults, right? So I just wave at him, saying that we want to go in, and there we go. He get, he gets scared out of nowhere. I don't know why he gets scared, but whatever. Uh, yeah, there we go. We can go now inside. I don't know why she hit me. So I walk. I turn around and look at her like, bitch, really, really. Anyway, here we are with another cutscene. And here we are at the, I think, last part, the fourth part of this entire gameplay. And here we are just basically at the vault, um, just walking around trying to break everything and getting some more money. Even though we already have the true stud, we're saving up some more money because we could always use more money later on when we're trying, when we're going to try and buy some new characters or some of the red bricks and all that stuff, right? So... We're just walking around, finding some more, some more stuff. I'm telling her to uh, pull that liver. So, lever, liver, I don't know what it's called. But I think you guys know what I'm trying to say here. So I can open up that door. So I open up the door, but we're not going to go through the door yet. Because that's actually convinced, like, going into the storyline even more. So we go back, actually, and I open this little vault as well. Because there's some more money that we haven't um, gotten yet. As, as I said before, even though we don't really need any more for the true wizard, we are getting it for ourselves for later on in the game, where we need to buy more characters or red bricks or whatever it else it might be. So here we're just breaking everything again and getting some more money. I'm trying to steal everything that she's getting. That's why I'm also at 
63,000 while well, she's at 13,000 because I just grab all the money, always. But yeah, here I'm just waiting for her to bring that table up so I can grab that blue and purple stud. And I think that's basically all for this level part. So we actually go and we're going to see a little cutscene once again. So here we are actually at the last part where we're actually going to find our wand because we're Harry Potter, we need our wand. The dwarves were having a party there back there, I wish I was there because that seems pretty fucking fun. I don't even know how he opened up the wrong one. Wow, we literally showed him the right fall, but whatever. Here we are getting the new wand for Harry Potter. He's breaking everything in the building of that guy. I don't know, I don't know his name anywhere, I won't lie about it. I've seen the movies but like way too long ago. So it's all movie related, of course, this game, as you might know, he, he goes like, oh, maybe this could work, and he gets him the wand, the wand, if you know, you know. And there we go, we get our little owl, we get our hat, and we're looking very dangerous, very, very dangerous. Yeah, that's the scariest part of all, honestly. But yeah, there we go, level is complete, we're getting a lot of free play unlocked here. We have the three pieces of the um, flag, the house crest, and then of course we get our true wizard, we get 100%. Once again guys, I'll be putting everything down in the description what you have to do, so don't worry about it. And we get to see our stud total so far, and that will be around like 100,000, well 99,000, that's already pretty insanely good for our first level but yeah that's gonna be it i also saved the student peril as you guys saw we're gonna get some gold bricks and that's gonna be it for this video you'll be seeing why we get the gold bricks but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications peace out boys